Hi my little jelly bean. So today I am going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. Finally, I got a hold of this. I love this palette. Honestly, it's one of my favorites. Like, I'm so excited. I can't wait to I be using all these other colors, you know. I want to start using these too. Today I use this color over here, like all these warm tones. But next time I want to use like all these like pinkish tones and then these cool tones also. And they have all these shimmers that I want to like go ahead and keep on trying. I also bought a second one, so I'm thinking of doing a giveaway pretty soon with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Alright, let's get started. I will be priming my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and Setting Powder. I'm not sure what kind of look I'm going for, so I'm just like looking at all the colors because they're so beautiful. I'm so excited. You guys know that I've been like waiting for this palette for a really long time and like you guys know that I love doing colorful looks too so I'm like beyond beyond excited like I cannot wait to start playing with this palette. So so far I'm going to be using this color as a transition and then I'm using the Morphe 508 brush. Then I'm going to be getting this color right here. I'm going to be picking up the Morphe 330 brush, which is still fluffy, but it's more skinnier. Then I'm picking up this color right here with the same brush. This is my first time doing a video in my new makeup room, so I didn't know it was going to be very echo, or maybe you guys don't even hear it, but I do. It sounds very echo, so um, I'm going to have to figure something out right there because I don't like it. <laughs> but yeah, like I finally got to go ahead and like move all my makeup into this room. Like I'm super excited because I just want to like decorate it and like make it my own, you know? This used to be my brother's room, but he moved out a couple months ago, so now I made it into my makeup room. For the longest time, I had all my stuff in my own room, and it was just like overcrowding everything, and it was just giving me anxieties, so now I just feel like I have space in my room, and I, I could be a little bit more organized. I'm going to be picking up this color right here. And I'm going to be using the Morphe E22 brush. So excited! I'm just focusing it on the outer V and a little bit on the crease. And then back with the Morphe 504 brush. I'm just going to keep blending. Then I'm going to be going with this color right here. Then back with this fluffy brush, I'm going to be going with this black color right here. I'm just going to blend it on the outer V. And then I'm going to be using the Scone Tattoo Black Liner. So then for my upper waterline, I'm going to go ahead and use the Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner. And then for my bottom waterline, I'm going to use the Arrow Enhance. And it's just like a nudish pink. I will be picking up again the same color as a transition. I'll be using it all around my bottom lash line. I'm going to be using this color right here and again I'm going to do it all around. This color right here, I'm going to go like from the middle and then all the way to the out and then lightly blend it into the eyeliner. 
I changed my lipstick because I felt like it was too much pink. So I used like a NYX Whip Full Wet. Then for today's lashes, I will be using the Eiffel Lash. I've never used this one before. I did. I have mentioned it on the previous videos. And I'm going to go ahead and try it for today. I'm not sure how good it is. So we'll give that a try. And then now that my lashes are on, I'm just going to do the inner corner of my eyes. I'll be using the Morphe E36 brush, which is a little pencil brush. I'll be going with this gold color right here. That's it. I'm all done now. So this is a very good palette. I'm very excited. I love how it blends. It has so many colors. You guys already know all the reviews, but like honestly, I am so excited to try these colors. And I just put my pinky in there. No. No. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up. If you guys did, I'm going to go ahead and be using this palette more because I want to do more looks on it. Keep on watching. Subscribe down below if you guys haven't yet. And that's it. Bye.